This is NSK State News for March 2012, Christian Motzka reporting. On March 22nd, NSK RVK, the Icelandic contingent of the state, will hold an induction ceremony, as well as a symposium on the life and work of John Hartfield. For more on this group and this event, please follow the link below. Retroguard London is fast approaching. With events ranging from an NSK retrospective to Leibach's concert at Tate Modern's Turbine Hall, it is the largest gathering of NSK events since Dublin 2004, and keeping track of it all may seem somewhat daunting. Luckily, Dr. Alexey Munro has set up a website to track all of April's happenings. Please go to the link below for more information and where to buy tickets for each individual event. A 2013 citizen-driven NSK State Folk Art Biennale has just been announced. Please follow the link below for more information on how you may enter your work. Now, we will look back at an event that happened in New York City at the beginning of February. The Museum of Modern Art's print studio played host to an NSK passport office from February 1st through the 3rd. Along with issuing new passports and diplomatic passports, the event featured a virtual folk art display and a film screening of the uh, 2010 Citizens Congress. NSK State. NSK State News was on hand to ask new citizens why they had joined the state. Because I was born in one country, in a home, one continent, grew up in a different country, on a different continent, and I've been working and I live on, on my way to my third country in the third continent. So, in my experience, I really feel like a citizen of the world. A, a, a country like the NSK appeals to me because it is not a physical place, but it is a place, as you say, in time. And that's true of um, actually, I think, any citizen being citizen of any particular place. I became really intrigued by this concept of sort of subverting a power or political structure and thinking about ways that art can act or can have agency, be given agency through many, many different people who are acting from very di various different ways, but towards a, a potentially common goal. On the second night, MoMA hosted a rendezvous by members of NSK, NY, and the Irvin group to a sold-out audience. These events brought a greater awareness of the NSK state to New York City, as well as laying the groundwork for future actions in the Empire State. To see more footage from the Passport Office in New York City, please like us on Facebook at the link below. Thank you for watching. Thank you.